Good evening, you guys. I had such a great day today. Um, I woke up, worked out, all of that, you know, but I really had a lot of fun doing the photo shoot for CTA with Megan at Too Cool for Middle School, as I'm sure you guys know, and getting to meet two of her very darling sixth grade students, two girls that helped us vlog throughout the day and took pictures with us. They were since about 1.15, so about 45, 50 minutes. And I am in my classroom during my prep time. I am filming on my phone, so if the video quality is not quite the same and it feels like I'm not looking at you, it's because it's a little different filming on my phone than my camera. Um, so I'm recording, but I'm not even 100% sure if I'm gonna be uploading a vlog this week because I have a big collaboration video that I'm going to be uploading on Sunday. And I just don't know if I'll be able to edit two videos in one week, but if you see this, um, pet myself on the back because that means I got both videos up at some point. If you don't, well, then you'll never know. Um, so I'm in my class right now. I just finished cleaning up my room. So it's pretty tidy. As far as today, we did I Ready Reading, which took a very, very long time. I, I allow my class, or I allow the last student to have the time he or she needs to finish so as to avoid them having to go to a room for makeups. And to be quite honest, there's nothing that's super pressing right now that we have to get to that, that would necessitate me to rush a student through a test. So the last student that finished up, finished up significantly later than the majority of the class, but I had warned the class before that saying, you know, we're gonna wait until everyone feels comfortable and is done. So they had to just kind of sit quietly or read. Um, and that's just the part of testing that you really can't avoid. So we did that, then they went to recess, we came back and I allowed them to do a little bit more coding uh, because by that point we didn't have a whole lot of class time left before lunch and then I needed them to be doing something independent because I needed to continue to level my students for the end of the year so that when they start fourth grade their teachers know what their guided reading levels are. So I am on number 19 out of 29 so I'm close to being done. I have to have all that done by Friday because our literacy coach would like those to be entered. Then we went to lunch and then I took them out to play wiffle ball. They were much more calm today. Um, now I did preface the game with telling everybody, let's just relax and calm down. Um, and then I let them know that this week we're gonna have kind of like elimination games because my goal is at the end of the week, the last two teams that are playing are the two teams that had the most wins. So. It went pretty well. Um, so what my goal is for the rest of my time, I'm contracted here until about 3.15 and I normally stay well beyond that, even on minimum days, but it is the time of the year where things are pretty much wrapping up. Um, grades cut off this week, so my grade books are pretty up to date. Um, the rest of the things that I'm gonna enter have not occurred yet, so there's not a ton of prep or grading for me to do. So what I'm going to continue doing is planning for next year. So while Missy was here, I took full advantage of the fact that there was a second body in the room and anytime that she was teaching or in charge, I started working on little things that I wanted to look at for next year. And well, little and big things. And one of the big things that I wanted to do was um, enact a training that I had earlier in the year from my district that was called intentional math planning. So we use Go Math, which looks like this. I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with it. Um, some people love Go Math, some people hate it. I personally really like Go Math. I really liked it as a fifth grade teacher, and for the most part, I like it as a third grade teacher. I think. I've only had one year with it in third, and so far I don't have any major complaints, but I really liked it in fifth because I thought it did a really good job of, I don't know, just giving kids different kinds of options to do different types of math. It was very thorough in some of the ex explanations, so I enjoyed it. Um, but the challenge with Go Math, especially in fifth, is that we, by the end of the year, are really rushing to try, no, let me take that back, we weren't rushing there just wasn't enough time in the year for us to teach every single chapter and every single lesson in the manner in which it needed to be taught. So there would be some lessons where Go Math is saying, it's gonna take a day, but with your particular class or with that particular lesson as a teacher, you knew it was gonna to need to be more than that one day, which eventually led to you getting to the end of the year and you not getting through the whole math book, which can affect students when it comes a time for 
SBAC testing. So the premise of this training that I went to earlier in the year was to use this resource called Achieve the Core. And if I can remember to link it, I will. But basically there's a section on Achieve the Core where it goes through each grade level, if you're interested, each grade level of Go Math. And let me see if I can find this resource. Um, I have a feeling I don't have it printed out anymore. Hold on one second. They give you this resource where they've basically looked through each lesson of each chapter and giving you some guidance on lessons that you can either delete um, altogether because it's not really based on that grade level standard or modify for one reason or another. So um, let me see if I can flip the camera around on my phone. One second here. Okay, so here is the document. So this, for example, is Go Math third grade chapter three and the premise or the concept or the big idea of that chapter is kids are understanding multiplication. So if you look here, it tells you the lesson 3.1 and you can see that it's saying teach it as is, 3.2 teach as is. Now when you get to 3.3, it's telling you that you could delete that lesson altogether and then over here it gives you the reasoning behind it. So for this particular lesson where they're skip counting on a number line, it says delete and the reason is um, number line is not a requirement of this third grade standard. The abstract representation does not allow students to develop an understanding of the meaning of multiplication. So they're saying, okay, we want kids to understand the meaning of multiplication and a skip counting on a number line doesn't necessarily do that. So. Um, you know, it's just a guidance document. You can follow it to a T or you can not. But so far, I mean, I, I agree with a lot, a lot of the things that are being stated or modified. Um, another one, for example, this lesson 3.4, they're saying delete it, but then bring it up in chapter four. And then it gives you some rationale behind it. So as you can see, it's a pretty useful resource. So I have done chapter one. I've sent that to a friend of mine that actually did this training for the district who works in professional development and asked her to kind of take a look at it when she gets a chance. She hasn't had a chance yet. Andrea, if you're watching, I hope you find a chance soon. So I've done chapter one, I've done chapter two, and I think I'm working on chapter three or I might even be done with chapter three. So the reason that they offered this in our district is to kind of address that feeling of there's just not enough days or time in the school year to get through each chapter and um, feel like you've taught it well. So their point was, okay, maybe there's some lessons that you can modify, shorten, or skip, and here's a resource that can kind of guide you through that. What's nice about it is that if you do follow this, um, guidance document from Achieve the Core because the next question I have for my friend is, well, what about the chapter test? Now I got to go through all those chapter tests and figure out what lessons did I remove and therefore alter the quizzes and the test based on that. And she said there's actually a resource that tells you if you follow this document, then these would be the problems on the test that you want to um, eliminate or alter. So I've been planning each chapter for that. Um, I've also, since I had the time, made sure to look through my books to see if I have books to kind of go through some of these lessons. Because if you watched my blog last summer when I was putting my classroom together, I had a ton of math books stashed away that I had completely forgotten about. So this year I didn't want that to happen because I, I mean, even though I knew that when I did my class over the summer, I still forgot to pull them out this year. So I don't want that to happen next year. So I've pulled the books and um, got all that stuff set aside. And um, the other aspect of that lesson was this whole idea of sharing with students what a success criteria item will be for each lesson and really honing in on what, at the end of the day, what is the true learning intention of this lesson? It's not just get through the lesson, but what is the big thing you want your kids to walk away from? So I've been working on that while Missy's here, um, or while Missy was here. So now that she's not here and I have my prep time on Monday, that's what I'm gonna be using it for to either finish up chapter three, but quite possibly start chapter four. So my hope is that when school starts and I'm meeting with my new team for the first time, that I, this part is kind of done. So I've been doing that at school and then at home, I've been trying to go back and look into wonders and try and refine some of that. So that next year when I vlog, I, I actually don't just say that I'd like to share a lesson with you guys, but I actually have some lesson plans to share. I'm very much a perfectionist, so I haven't shared anything yet because I don't feel like I've truly perfected it yet. 
Um, and that's not to say that I will ever feel like I've perfected it, but I think I will get to a point where I feel better about it. So, anywho, that's what I'm doing. Um, that's what I will be doing for the next hour or so, and then I'm gonna go, there's somewhere I have to go. I think I need to stop at the grocery store. I really have a pair of shoes that I need to return to Nordstrom Rack, and I should get a car wash. But it's also Teacher Appreciation Day at Blaze Pizza, which is um, a pizza place out here. I don't know if they're in other states, but it's just like Pyology, if any of you know what that is, where you kind of build your own pizza for one flat, one flat rate. It's kind of like the subway of pizzas. So they have a special for teachers today. However, it's not a build your own special. I have to go order a particular type of pizza I think so I'm doing that today for dinner for my sister and I and then tomorrow is Chipotle and I will be taking advantage of that so I'm gonna put you guys down get back to this math planning and maybe I'll check in with you guys when I get home good morning here's today's outfit today it's going to be warmer so I'm wearing a dress this is a dress that I got from Kohl's a couple years ago it has some flamingos on it here if you can see and it has this little flap situation um, I'm wearing it with a cardigan from Target because it has spaghetti straps so I'm covering that up and I'm wearing these sandals that are old and have made an appearance a lot of times in my vlogs I'm wearing this Kate Spade necklace that has a G on it I've had a lot of people ask me what the G stands for and I can't remember if I told you guys but it stands for Genesis and then I'm wearing this Goriana ring that you can see there and my silver and gold Michael Kors watch. So that's it, I'll talk to you guys later on today. So I am in my classroom just before school starts, it's about 8.05, and I wanted to show you this because I don't think I mentioned it as a part of the um, spring training thing that I was using with my classroom. This is also part of that package from the Not So Wimpy Teacher for those of you that are interested in trying it next year. So the other thing that we include or is included is you get these little baseballs and I'm showing this one because I know I have the student's permission. So you get three baseballs and the parents can write just like an encouraging note to their students. So there's three. I um, This one says Suzette, you can do it. Read everything twice, you will do great. And so some parents chose to color them, some parents just wrote a note, some parents uh, put uh, more personal notes, some parents like that one put testing strategies on it. So I've given, this is the last one that I need to give to students, I gave one on the first day of testing, the Monday of the second week, and then I'm giving one today because it is the last day. And then with their note, they will get the last snack, which is goldfish because testing is officially over. So I just wanted to make sure that I showed you guys that because I didn't didn't because I didn't think I had shown it to you last week. So I just wanted to show you that because I wasn't sure that I included that last week when I was describing that product. So the bell is gonna ring in about one minute. I'm gonna put you guys down. I'm just at my desk right now enjoying my Jimmy Dean breakfast bowl. I'm gonna pick them up basically today. Uh, I'm gonna be escorting them to a couple places. We need to do iReady math. I need to squeeze in chapter 11 math review because I would like to give the test on that. I really need to squeeze in a social studies lesson or a so social studies chapter this week to help a couple of kids out that are struggling with their social studies grade. But we have two assemblies. Like this morning we have band performance at 10 o'clock and that lasts about a half an hour. And then in the afternoon it is a second grade dress rehearsal and that's about 30 minutes. And I always try and take my kids there because some of them have siblings in one of these performances and also to support the classes that are practicing. So that is on the agenda today. Keep your fingers crossed. My plan is to give I ready, do chapter 11 review. Um, get through a social studies lesson, play wiffle ball, because we need to do that, because we're eliminating teams, and go to two performances. So wish me luck. I'm gonna go get the kids. I will talk to you guys later on in the day. Hey guys, it is a little bit after three, and I'm in my classroom getting ready, well, cleaning up, and then I have a union meeting at 3.30. Um, it's official teacher appreciation day, and I got this little tulip from a student earlier today. Um, I just thought I'd share that with you. As far as whether or not I got through all those things that were on my agenda, the big answer to that question is no. We basically got iReady testing done and a portion of math review done and that was pretty much it. iReady took much longer than I thought, especially given the fact that it was math and usually um, in my experience math goes 
significantly quicker than reading but this class that was not the case which is fine so we got that done we went to the band performance this morning we went to recess lunch got a little bit of the math review done using the same activity I use for the math test review and then we um, went and watched the second grade dress rehearsal for their play so we didn't even get to wiffle ball so the good news is is Missy or Miss Cahill will be subbing for me tomorrow and I know that she can kind of pick up the pieces for all of that so that is that um, aside from that I wanted to also share some exciting news my magazine article with Scholastic Teacher magazine is done and complete I got an email today that says the online version is up and running I am going to be adding the link to that in the description box below and the hard copy of the magazine is making its way to me in the mail and I can't wait to see it I should I show it to you guys um, let me see if I can just open it up on my phone. So I'm just excited about it. Let's see if I can hold it up to you. So here's the online version, if it will focus. It says, Cool Classrooms, Latanya Robinson, uh, Latanya Robinson, third grade teacher. Let me try that again. It says, Cool Classrooms. Latanya Robinson third grade teacher Latanya Robinson's classroom is a California dream so there's that and I shared this with my class today because they knew this was happening and they were excited and I wanted them to feel proud of their classroom and it just gives a little description of me it shows the images that they chose to feature with the write-up so that happened so I'm excited about that and then the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys are these books that I bought through Amazon over the weekend um, so I got a gift card from Missy um, to Amazon as a thank you and I wanted to buy some fall themed books because when November came this past year I felt like I was pretty scant on like fall themed books and th books about Thanksgiving and I I I have a couple books about Thanksgiving, but they're just kind of like outdated or boring. So the first one that I got, I'm going to show you the two that I like the most. This one is called Thank You, Sarah, The Woman Who Saved Thanksgiving. So this tells you some history about Thanksgiving and the fact that there was a time where Thanksgiving really wasn't that big of a holiday. And this woman, Sarah, wrote a series of letters to a few different presidents asking that they make it a national holiday. She was turned down quite a bit. And we also learned that she was kind of a... Um, vigilante for people that she felt were being treated mis uh, treated unfairly. So as I was reading it, because I talked to my class quite a bit about growth mindset this year, this book is definitely a good book to talk about some of the aspects about growth mindset because when she got rejected the first time, when she wrote the first letter asking to make it a national holiday, she didn't just give up and say, okay, it's over. She persisted for quite some time and eventually Abraham Lincoln is the one that made it a national holiday. So that was the first favorite. The second favorite before I show you the other ones is this one i think it's really cool i uh showed this on instagram last night as soon as i finished reading it and it's called balloons over broadway and this is the story of the puppeteer who created the macy's day parade so this also gives you some history on thanksgiving and this tradition of the Ma macy's day parade um, this also is good for growth mindset because he has to go through a lot of trial and error with what we now see as the big balloons that they use on the or during the macy's Macy's Day Parade. So I highly recommend that one. The other ones I got are Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn. Then since I liked that one so much, I got Goodbye Autumn, Hello Winter. This one, it just makes me feel good about fall. And I like the fact that the character on the book is a person of color and from my context clues, the family in this book is not your typical two-parent household. This is a single mother with their child, and I think it's important to show that um, because there are kids that are living in that um, type of family dynamic. This one's called Windows. And then this one is cute. It does have the word but in it, um, and it's called The Great Thanksgiving Escape. So I ordered those on Friday. So my Amazon gift card from Missy lasted all of uh, a couple hours and these came in the mail yesterday. So that's how my day is shaken about so far. Um, I'm getting ready to go to this meeting. I don't anticipate it being too long. And then I'm gonna go home because I need to prepare for tomorrow. And I'm not gonna say much more than that because I have to talk to Megan from Too Cool 
from middle school to see exactly how much we're gonna share and when we're gonna share it. So I need to get myself ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna be meeting up with her for something that we're working and collaborating together on. And I need to get my buy one, get one free at Chipotle. So those are my two priorities tonight. And I need to finish watching this documentary on Barbie that I started watching last night um, because I'm, I'm very obsessed with Barbie at the moment after finding her Instagram account. So I'm gonna finish cleaning up here. I'm gonna head over to my meeting and I'm not sure if I will check in with you guys later on today, but I will certainly check in with you guys tomorrow. I hope all is going well. All right, it is a little bit before noon on Wednesday. I'm obviously home because I took the day off to prepare for my meetup with Megan from Too Cool for Middle School. Uh, so basically what we are collaborating on is we are going to um, share what we believe are our wardrobe essentials for teachers. And I believe this issue will be coming out in the summertime to kind of get ready for back to school. So we were asked to bring outfits or wardrobe pieces that we feel are things all teachers should have. So I just um, got finished getting all that together. I actually woke up at about seven this morning, uh, went to work out at Orange Theory, came home, took a shower, ate some breakfast, and pulled all the stuff that I wanted to take with me together. So I'm just taking this opportunity to rest and relax for a little bit, and then I need to go put on my makeup and get dressed and head down to Megan's school for the photo shoot. I'm gonna get some Starbucks and some lunch along along the way because we're supposed to be meeting with the photographer and um, uh, the woman that's organizing this whole thing at 3.30. So I'm just relaxing for a minute. Genesis is doing the same. She's, um, so that's what I'm doing. Here's what Genesis is doing, what she normally does, just lounging around. That is one of her favorite spots. She looks out the window. She barks at anything passing by. Um, she takes long, drawn out naps. So that is what I'm currently doing right now. I'm just relaxing for about a half hour. Um, after that, I'm gonna go upstairs, like I said, and finish getting dressed, and then I'm gonna head out. I'll pick up some stuff to eat along the way. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys later. So I am in Megan's classroom. I'm whispering because she's being interviewed right now. And I, we have some student helpers. My student helper is here. This is Kelly Chang. And she's gonna be uh, videotaping and taking pictures while we do this. She has her own YouTube channel. Uh, kind of. Kind of. She yeah, kind took a pause on it. Yes. But maybe she'll restart it. So she's gonna be taking some pictures. Um, but the photographer's back there setting up. And Megan is over there being interviewed and she has her own photographer. Let me zoom in a little bit. So she's getting interviewed. Some of the questions that I've heard them ask her are kind of tough, so I need to be thinking about it. But we're just getting a set up and we'll show you as we go on. <laughs> so we are now back in Megan's room. We just finished. How long did that take? Oh, we started at 3.30 and it's five, so it's yeah, like two and a half hours. And if we Wait, stop talking really quick, it's because my battery's dying because mm -hmm. the middle schoolers that she had helped us did a very good job of capturing every single moment. But overall, it was a good experience. It is very rough being a model. Yeah. Smiling right, turning your head yeah. right. I have these glasses. Oh, yeah, I was the always glare. like having to shift right. my head. I told him I could take them off, but he didn't. Um, he wanted me to keep them mm -hmm. on. But 
it's fun so we can't give you too much details or show you too much in or I can't show you too much in this particular vlog because it will come out before the issue but mm. as soon as it comes um, I'll share a little bit more of what we did today I think yeah but um I had a great time. Megan's middle schoolers were so cute. They gave me <laughs> some like fashion advice. Future vloggers. Yeah, they They're told me practicing. I need to hit up Fashion Nova. Um, okay. So yeah, we're done. I'm gonna clean up. And what are you about to do? I'm so hungry now. I know. Like, I, I model stay skinny because this is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a salad that I was supposed to hungry. eat, but I haven't. So um, we're just gonna figure our lives out right now. So, but it was fun. I got to see Megan's classroom in person. It's super cute. Very clean. Well, very, as very of clean. Today. I'm sure it looks like this all the time. So we'll be sure to share as much as we can when we can. But until then, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Good evening, you guys. I had such a great day today. Um, I woke up, worked out, all of that, you know, but I really had a lot of fun doing the photo shoot for CTA with Megan. At Too Cool for Middle School, as I'm sure you guys know, and getting to meet two of her very darling sixth grade students, two girls that helped us vlog throughout the day and took pictures with us. They were super sweet, super funny, gave me a little bit of a fashion advice along the way. Um, and then we finished that up at about five o'clock, and the photographer and the reporter left. And um, what was I gonna say? They left. And then Megan and I went and had some dinner together. My dinner was what was supposed to be my lunch. I didn't get to it. So we just had dinner, had time to hang out for a couple hours, and it was so nice to be able to just hang out with her for a little bit longer than what I have in the past. So that was probably the highlight of the day. It is now 10 o'clock. I got home at about 9 o'clock. I have to admit I am dead dog tired. So I am getting ready to take a shower, go to bed, and return to my normal life of teaching and leave my modeling days behind me. Um, we are both looking forward to this issue coming out. We know that it's coming out like for a back to school type thing. So it will probably be um, mid to late summer, but as soon as we know, we'll be sure to let you guys know. And we're keeping our fingers crossed that the pictures came out good because we were trying our best to look our best. And the photographer and the reporter said they have no control over what is chosen and what's not. So it will be a surprise to us. So we'll get it in the mail just like the rest of you. And so hopefully we don't look crazy or we don't look like we don't have our lives together. So I'm getting ready to take a shower and go to bed. I'm so tired, but tired for good reason. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and um, yeah, that's it. Talk to you tomorrow. Hey, it is Thursday. It's just a little after three before 3.15 and um, I'm just gonna give you a very quick rundown of my day because it was very uneventful. So we are officially at the time of the year where um, testing's occurring and some kids are done testing and some aren't and so you kind of need to allot for time for those kids that are not done to get finished but then you don't want to do or introduce anything new to the rest of your class because then those kids that need to finish the test are missing out and so on and so forth. So today Today, um, there were a couple of things in the morning that I had to take care of. I had two kids that needed to finish their iReady test and they got that done. So I think as far as I know, I am completely and officially done with all my SPEC testing and all of my iReady testing. I just need to run an iReady report to make sure and I haven't heard um, anything from the office as far as me having any other kids that need to finish SPEC stuff so I think I'm good there. So we did that and then something happened this morning. I don't, what happened this morning? Okay, so that happened and um, while they were doing that I have about 10 kids left that need to be leveled. So I was getting some kids leveled. One little boy took a lot longer than I thought, but that's a good thing because he moved up quite a few levels. And then we went outside and played the last elimina elimination game of Wiffle Ball. Um, my hope was to play like the World Series game of Wiffle Ball this afternoon, but we ended up not being able to do that because quite a few kids in my class are in course and course had some dress rehearsal performances this afternoon, which was the time I was planning to do um, the last game of wiffle ball so that didn't happen um, we got in a social studies lesson and I read them a story 
and that is really the gist of the day. Um, a good portion of the day was like just kind of waiting around for kids to finish something or kids to return. So we went to the course performance at 1.30 and then um, there was another performance at 2. So that meant some my kids that are in course were still outside of the class from 2 to 2.30. So all I could really do is bring my kids back and we watched a Bill Nye video on the planets. And I want to say... I guess Bill Nye is just really like a timeless guy. My kids just think those videos are so hilarious and they love them so much and they're so entertained even though quite a few things in those videos are making references to things that they don't even know about because they weren't born like today's episode was making references to the show the real world back in the 90s i'm old enough to remember that and the kids just they just think he is the funniest guy ever which i think is great like i think that's what was so good about bill nye is that he made science seem funny and fun so we watched that and then at the very last minute, I remembered that I needed to give my class permission slips to watch the movie Rookie of the Year tomorrow because it's rated PG. So I had to scurry around and get that done and passed out. So fingers crossed that every student brings that back tomorrow. I really did let them know that if they don't have that permission slip, when we watch the movie, um, they won't be able to see in the classroom because I need their parents' permission because it's rated PG. So the plan for tomorrow is that instead of going to lunch in the cafeteria or bringing their lunch, they will be having hot dogs, Cracker Jacks, juice, and ice cream. And um, we'll eat that during lunchtime and I'll let them go out and play their regular lunch recess. And then after lunch, um, we'll watch the movie Rookie of the Year and get through as much as that as possible. The morning is pretty packed because they have PE. Um, we were supposed to have like a little farmer's market activity, but that got canceled because the farmer got sick. So um, I might squeeze in another social studies lesson then. And uh, then it will be the weekend. So that was pretty much my day. Um, I don't have anything else going on or much else to report. I'm trying to make sure nothing exciting has happened in my teaching life um, today. Not really. Um, so I'm gonna cut this one short because I have something else I need to do. And depending on how on top of things I am this weekend, you might see this video. Either you've already seen it or you'll see it afterwards. We'll see what happens, but I need to stop vlogging because I need to film a video that involves this bag. It's another big teacher collaboration that um, Kate, the sleepy teacher, organized for Teacher Appreciation Week. So I'm getting ready to find out who my secret teacher appreciator was. So I need to film that video and go home and edit it so that it's up and ready to go by Sunday. So that's pretty much it. Nothing exciting today. Um, I did get this button. I don't know if I'll be able to focus it. Can you read it? I got this from a student. Um, it was on a card and the button says, I'm our number one chaos coordinator. And I thought it was so cute. So I took a picture with me wearing it and the student and I sent it to the mom through her mind. So I got that. Um, this little boy has brought me a little treat every day this week and it's been really sweet. I got a tulip. Yesterday I got some hand lotion. Today I got a card with this button. So that was cute. So I'm gonna end it here so I can get started with this teacher appreciation video and I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, it is 8.44. I am on my prep period, the kids are at PE. And what's nice about our PE teacher here is that we get PE for 50 minutes every Wednesday and Friday. Um, but when we are at a grade cutoff period, which we are today, today is the grade cutoff for the third trimester, a lot of times, if not every time, he will rearrange the PE schedule a little bit and um, combine a couple of grade levels so that each grade level gets a little bit more PE time for the kids, which inherently means the teachers get a little bit more prep time. So I dropped the kids off at 8.30. Normally I would have to go back and get them at 9.20, but today I do not have to go back and get them until 9.50 because they're gonna go to PE and then they're gonna supervise them at recess right after that. 
So we get a little extra time to get our grades finalized or do whatever it is we need to do to get our report cards ready. So I am, before I do that, I am organizing these permission slips right here because today my kids are watching a rated PG movie and anytime we are showing a movie that is rated anything other than G, obviously just PG, we're not showing rated PG-13 or rated R movies, but if we're showing a movie that is rated PG, we have to get parental permission. So um, I almost forgot to send this home yesterday. So these went home yesterday. I just have to make sure I have one for every student. Um, one student was absent yesterday, so I just called his dad and got verbal permission and I will send the um, paper version home with him today. So I'm gonna do that. And aside from that, I need to finish correcting their math test that they took on Wednesday with Ms. Cahill. And there is a social studies page that I would like to correct. That Those are my goals for my prep period. Aside from that, my grades are pretty much updated. There's not much more that I need to put in there. I keep going back and forth with social studies. I wanted to get a lot more social studies done to kind of help some of those kids out and get in some more reading grades because sometimes I'll use our social studies activities um, and I'll double dip and um, also use them for informational text in our report card because it is informational text. But we need to turn in our textbooks today. We don't have to, like if I let the librarian know I need the books for a little bit longer, she'd be fine with that. But at the same time, my grades have to be finalized and done by Tuesday. So the likelihood of me getting a significant amount of stuff done between now and Tuesday is pretty slim. So it's not looking too good for having a whole lot more social studies. So today, although it's a really fun day for the kids, it's kind of a little stressful. Like number one, I need to make sure I have all these permission slips. Number two, it's a class party and those can get hectic and you make sure that you have everything that you need, which I think I do. Mrs. Bell will be helping me with that. Miss Cahill is gonna come back to help with that. And um, another student's grandma is gonna come and help. They're supposed to play their last World Series game. So just making sure we have time for that. And there was some other reason why I woke up and felt a little stressed. I need to finish leveling my kids. I have about 10 more to go and I'm supposed to be totally done today. Um, I just noticed there's a piece of border dangling on one of my walls over there. Um, I'm supposed to have that done today. I don't know that I'll get them all done today, but I've already contacted the person that we're sending their levels to to let her know. So I am going to continue doing this and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. It is now 9.45. I got all my papers for the movie organized. I have one student who has not turned his in. He may just have it in his backpack, so I'm gonna check with him. If not, I'm gonna try and call his mom and see what I can do about that. Um, and I have about one more page of math test to grade. All right, it is 3.20. I am currently at the gas station in my car, obviously, while the gas is pumping. I am headed over to one of the middle schools in our district because I need to meet with another teacher because we have been put in charge of like an ice breaking activity for the next African American Parent Ed Educator Group or APEC and that is on Tuesday. So I came up with a couple of ideas um, but I thought it would be better if we met in person to kind of finalize it because sometimes those kinds of things are easier to talk through when you're face to face and not talking on the phone. So I'm headed over there, but then on the way there, I realized I need a gas, so I'm now at a Chevron station getting gas. As far as today, I am worn out. Um, I think I talked to you guys at the end of my prep. I'm still not done grading the math test, um, and they took a science test that I'll need to grade over the weekend because grades need to be finalized by Tuesday. And after they got back from PE, it has just been a whirlwind of getting things done. And they're all hyped up and excited because they know they're having a party. We had our wiffle ball game. I can't remember. 
I think the team that named themselves Chasing Fire is the team that won, but not without controversy. We had a couple kids cry because they didn't like the calls. Where's my compact? Um, a couple of boys were very upset to the point where I had to actually, unfortunately, give a little lecture on sportsmanship and remind them that this was really just meant to be like this fun thing. And now they're turning it into something that is no longer fun. I need to roll down the window because it's a little hot. Um, so I just talked to them about that. And then uh, we moved on with our lives. So we had hot dogs, Cracker Jacks, ice cream, chips, and juice. And they watched Rookie of the Year, which they really seemed to enjoy. Um, and of course, none of them had seen it because they weren't born and I don't remember when that movie was made I need to look it up my student teacher I don't even think she was old enough to remember Missy came back to help us out so hold on one second So like I was saying, Miss Miss Cahill came to help us out. And I remember the movie, I just know that I never saw the movie. Um, she doesn't remember the movie, but she recognized the main character from those American Pie series, uh, American Pie movies. So um, I need to get going. I'm headed over to the middle school now, and I will check in with you guys afterwards. All right, it is probably around 4.30 now. I'm at home, laying in bed, because I'm about to take a massive nap um, Genesis is over here trying to make her way underneath my pillows, underneath my blanket. That is her favorite thing to do. But I got home probably 15 or 20 minutes ago. Luckily, the meeting that I had didn't last very long because we both had some ideas that we have been thinking about since um, the superintendent asked us to organize this portion of the meeting or asked if we would be interested in organizing this portion of the meeting. And of course, when one of your superintendents asks if you would be interested in doing something, you're not really gonna say, um, no, I don't wanna do it. So um, we had both independently been thinking of some things and when we met, realized there were some similarities in the ideas that we had so we're going to mesh those two things together we're going to be doing a kagan strategy that um i guess it's pretty old i've never actually done it but i think i've heard of it and um we have about 15 minutes to use so i'm going to put together my portion of the presentation genesis and she's going to put hers together and then we're going to just kind of share and collaborate and then try and meet up not try more than likely we will either meet up on monday or chat over the phone on monday and make sure everything is good to go for tuesday and as far as the rest of the day I, I think i rehashed it already just busy tired we had to check in our textbooks so we are now officially at that part of the school year where we don't have textbooks which kind of makes kids feel like it's completely over which i understand but it's not um we had to check in our textbooks today they had their you know post season party um they got ice cream if they had perfect attendance for SBAC testing so they they all in all again had another good friday they were very happy to see miss cahill and that's always nice and um what else we were treated to greek food today by a parent so that was nice but all in all just a busy friday um and now i'm here super tired genesis is not tired she just spends her whole day sleeping um it's nice that you guys you guys are getting to see this because this is very typical of her if you ever get a miniature pincher they love to be tucked away in some hole in some crevice behind pillows under blankets and sometimes it takes her a very long time to find just the right spot so this might go on for the next 10 minutes or so but um mostly i'm just here to close out the vlog for the week I feel like this one might be a little piece together. I know I didn't share my outfits every day, um, but that was because I wasn't really sure if I was gonna vlog this week because I know I'll be uploading a collaboration video on Sunday, but you guys just might be getting two videos this week. So um, 
thanks for watching. I hope you guys have had a great week or a great day or whatever. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you haven't shared this with your friends, share it with your friends so they can see it as well. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Everybody wish Janice this luck. I think, she, I think she's almost there. She found it. You guys see her? Genesis? There she is. So we're about to take our nap. I will see you guys probably next week. Have a good weekend, or I hope you had a good weekend. <laughs>